Congress grinds to a halt after the removal of House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. The House now cannot act on any legislation until a new speaker is chosen. Joe McLean spoke to Missouri's congressional de delegation who were largely frustrated by the ordeal. Kansas City Democratic Congressman Emanuel Cleaver describes the historic moment Kevin McCarthy was removed as Speaker of the House. The office of Speaker of the House of the United States House of Representatives is hereby declared vacant. There was not one single cheer. There was not one high five. There was no fist bump. It, there was almost pure, uh, uninterrupted silence. And that showed that uh, at least for that moment, both sides realized that uh, we were in trouble. That trouble being the first time in American history a speaker was voted out by his members. With a margin of just five votes, eight Republicans voted with every Democrat to relieve McCarthy of the gavel. None of Missouri's delegates were among those eight, though. I'm, I'm very, very frustrated with how this place operates. I did not come here to be part of these shenanigans where you have a personal vendetta against the Speaker of the House and you take him out. Missouri Congressman Jason Smith also defending McCarthy. He called the move, quote, irrational. Congressman Blaine Luchtemeyer blasted the move as well, saying it halted the appropriations process, which was the whole focus in the first place. GOP Congressman Eric Burleson voted against the stopgap budget measure that triggered the Republican revolt, but ultimately supported McCarthy. Because I didn't want to have two weeks that we weren't accomplishing conservative wins. But now we're in the situation we are. And so I'm going to have, we are going to have to make lemonade out of the lemons that we have. Today, House members head home for the rest of the week. They'll reconvene Tuesday and begin choosing a new speaker the next day. Meanwhile, Cleaver says Democrats want to project an image of teamwork and competence to contrast the skirmish on the other side of the aisle. He believes some Democrats might even support the right Republican to succeed McCarthy. We could probably move into a place where uh, people like me would be comfortable in voting for uh, a, a speaker who's pledging uh, to, to make civility and, and uh, bipartisanship uh, an inextricable part of his or her reign as speaker. In Jefferson City, Joe McLean, KY3 News.